You have mentioned several times that Hong Kong young people should have stronger cultural self-confidence. What do you mean by that? And actually, you have also spoken with some young people in Hong Kong and telling them that they should always be recognized as Chinese. And that patriotism is a notion that they should always remember. Why do you think this is important? Well, I'm one of the very good examples. I was born and brought up in Hong Kong. Throughout my life, I have lived and worked in both Hong Kong and Macau. I had been educated abroad, but then I returned to Hong Kong and Macau. And I love having that ability. And I, that, in my own personal opinion, is called freedom of choices. I have choices, but I make a deliberate choice to return to my own country and to serve my own country. International does not mean that we become just part of them. In fact, international means we want other people to respect us and to actually embrace us. Maybe the young people have not had sufficient reach out also into our own country. So in that respect, I think it is only fair that we should give the true facts and to present for them and, you know, so that they can make their own decisions. What we do now, for instance, and, and I supervise over a few um, organizations, um, I think we need to, in a way, revise a little bit how we would offer um, some of the educational programs mm -hmm. to the young people. It's been four years since China put forward the outline development plan for the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Great Bay area. Any concrete plans or ideas to contribute to the development of this area? Well, uh, that is the, really the key topic, of course, you know, for anybody who is in business uh, within the Greater Bay Area. We are very blessed, again, uh, we have a head start. Uh, my one of my companies uh, at Shentag, we started already providing uh, passenger fast ferries, uh, bringing people from, in the past, it was mainly Hong Kong to Macau and vice versa. Now we are advancing and elevating this so we are going to hopefully be able, if it weren't for COVID, we would have started our game plan and we would like to put together a cross-territory uh, sea to air to land sort of a, a transportation network, providing you know, the infrastructural uh, services to the population within the Greater Bay Area in future.